Hello guys, welcome back to my part 7 of this series of the Java tutorials. Now in this we will see some effective way of uh, working with Java. Now see when you talk about this code, this is the last, ti last time we have done this code of, uh, of uh, converting uh, a character into an int value or you can say uh, ask a value. Let's suppose if I do the same thing, if I write the same code, so the first step you have to do is you have to compile it, right? To, to, to compile it, we have to go, for our uh, to go to our command prompt and then we have to say java c and we have to mention the file name which is add.java, right? And once you get the compilation, then you have to do the next step which is running, right? So you have to say java and class name and when you say enter, you will get the output. But the problem is you are typing your code at different in different place you are running your code at different place and with different different commands right so we have different different environments to work with so what we can do is we can just integrate all this thing we can just integrate all this thing to make a single software we'll use a single software in which you will type the code in which you can compile the code in which you can run the code right and those things in which you can compile your code is called as IDE or you can do everything is called as IDE IDE stands for integrated development oh, it's development <coughs> it's environment okay it's okay excuse me for my spelling so this is IDE right now so what we can do is we can just say uh, we can we can use IDEs like we have ID which is your Eclipse we have ID called which is your NetBeans we have IDs like uh, J edit so we have list of IDs now what ID I use is NetBeans so I use NetBeans NetBeans we have lots of version of NetBeans the latest version is 8.0 but I will recommend you to download the version which is uh, 7.4 because it is stable 8.0 is new version so there might be some chances your code is right but the output you will get some wrong output so make sure you go with the stable version so go with 7.4 still I have already installed 8.0 I will be using 8.0 in order to download in order to download your uh, NetBeans what you can do is you can go to your browser and you can type here download netbeans it will take to a site called as netbeans.org yeah, this is your site from this side you can download this software so they will be having multiple versions oh, it's taking lots of time yeah so the current version available is 8.0 but i will recommend you download 7.4 it's stable version but if you want to experiment with Java 8, go with NetBeans 8.0. So it will take to your download page. Okay. Now in this download page, you have multiple uh, multiple uh, bundles. The so first thing, uh, first bundle is normal Go Java bundle, with, in which you will be getting the base IDE. You will be getting Java IC. You will be getting FX. No other feature. In order to create enterprise applications, you require this bundle. In order to work with C and C++, you require this bundle. In order to work with HTML5 and PHP, you require this bundle. And if you want to get everything, you can get this bundle. If your machine is fast, if you have 3 GB of RAM, go with this bundle. right? But if your machine is slow like my machine, go with this, this one initially. Okay, so once you download, you have to install it. And this is, this is how when you install, so you will be getting a shortcut icon on your desktop. And when you open it, it will take some time because it's it's a bit heavy. Depend upon your machine speed. Since I'm using netbook, uh, it will be it will work a bit slow on my machine. Uh, it's a long time. So I'm using uh, NetBeans 8 IDE 8.0, but make sure when you install NetBeans. JDK should be installed. So you require you require some prerequisites for NetBeans. It is your JDK, and the version of JDK should be uh, suitable with your NetBeans IDE. So if your NetBeans IDE version is 8.0, your JDK should be 8. Like I'm using JDK, which is 8. Let me show you my JDK. So it's program files, and the version of JDK I'm using is 8.1.8.0. 
Right, so it should match. Oh, it's taking a long time. I guess there's some problem with my machine. It's open, right? So now, I already have a project here. Let me close that project. Close, 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 close. Make it fast, buddy. Okay, so the amazing part is you get new updates. You know, every week you'll be getting some updates. A bit annoys me, but you don't have an option. You can just go through your tools and you can off your updates. Okay, so when you open your Net NetBeans IDE, it might be you will be getting a different look and feel because I have changed my look and feel of my NetBeans. The default, you will be getting some different type of uh, look and feel here. I have changed the look and feel for my, my purpose. So Now, in order to work with NetBeans, first thing you have to do is you have to create a project. So when you say a new project, in this new project you have to provide a name, oh, sorry, before name you have to specify you are working with Java application. So you can see I have I have downloaded an enterprise application in which I am getting everything. I am getting Java web, I am getting Java EE, I am getting HLFI because I have I, I go, I gone for a, a J2 EE version. Next uh, we are getting a normal application. Here we have to specify the project name and we will say uh, uh, like my project. We can go for any name by right? say my approach. Okay, and then we can say finish. And when you do this, by default, this project will create a file, a normal Java file for you. So just wait and watch. So this project has already created a file for us in which you have a normal class. You have a normal class in which it is you, you are getting a main function. So what you can do is you can type your code here. Uh, these are all our comments, so we can remove all these comments if you want. Okay, we can remove all this thing. Now, now what we can do is we can type our code here. Now what I need is I need to print a statement, right? I have to print a uh, hello. So what I can do is I can say system dot out dot print ln right so if you get a uh, errors also let's suppose if i miss n here it will give me an error right so it checks for everything and then we can double quote we can say hello okay so now to run this thing to run this uh, project or to run this application what we can do is we can just say play right or you can just say uh, you can say run or what you can do is you can use your keyboard shift f6 so when you say shift f6 it will run the current code it's running it's running and here's your output so output is hello right it's very simple but let's suppose if i want to create a new file in which i have to add two numbers right again we have done this code previous previously but this time we'll use netbeans so you have to say right click on your project a new class and we'll say this class name as add and we'll say finish now when you say finish by default you're getting you're getting all this thing we'll say select all delete now we'll type the code now something is very sure you have to create a class i so will say class add okay now what next you require a main function right now in NetBeans, you have some shortcuts. Okay, so that shortcuts are now if you're not type publish at the void main, what we can do is you can say PSVM and say tab. So when you say tab, by default you get this statement. This is so we have some shortcuts here. And then what we can do is we can type uh, we want to add two numbers, right? So we what we can say we can use the two we can use two variables int a int b and we'll say value five and value four. Then to add these two numbers, we can use C and C equal to, and we can say A plus B. Okay. Now in order to print, we can say system dot out dot print ln and bracket C. What we can do is we have a shortcut for that also, and it is S out. So you can say S out and tab. So we'll get a statement, and then here we can print C. Let me save this and Shift F6 will run this application, and your output is nine, right? So five plus four is nine. 
Now what if you want to create your own shortcuts? Now what I need is, let me just remove this. Now if I say, if I type A, B, C and tab, okay, in this case I should get that code. That's my new shortcut, right? So to create new shortcuts, you can go to tools and you can go to options. There is, there is editor and in editor you have code completion. No code completion, code template templates your code templates here you have lots of shortcuts right you have all these shortcuts what you can do is you can create your own shortcut so we have to say new abbreviation will give it as ABC and OK and here we can say paste we can just copy paste the code what we which we need everywhere so save and apply okay okay so what we can do is we can say now if I say ABC tab I'm getting the code right so if I say ABC tab I'm getting the code so that means we have we can create our own shortcuts in NetBeats okay so I hope it was helpful for you uh, please subscribe for please subscribe for the further videos and thank you so much